Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Here we have my official first tutorial for the fall. Awkward. Literally, I am obsessed with this look. I hope you guys like my new backdrop. Grab, grab. Today I created more of a vintage, glam, cool tone look for you guys for the fall. Um, I'm going to gradually keep making it darker and vampier, but I think this is a really cool look that you can do for literally any occasion. The start of the show today is the Urban Decay Honey Palette, Naked Honey Palette. Oh my God, this is amazing, so stunning. I got to play around with a lot of new products as well, and I love my hair too, how it came out. I gave myself a blowout, and my hair is like living its best life right now, so. Without further ado, if you guys wanna see how I created this look right here for the fall, then please keep on watching. Today we're gonna to go in with a new Naked Honey palette. I've been seeing this all over and I'm just like obsessed. So happy that I have it. Today I'm gonna to do more of a cool tone look. You guys know how much I love my warm tones, but for you cool tone girls out there, today is your day. And I did find some cool tone shades in here that we can make really wearable, um, but it's still with a little bit of warm, so I might be cheating a little bit. Um, but I really am excited to use this, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going more today for like a vintage Kim K look, hence the hair, why it's like this. Guys, I just got a haircut, and my hair is like the healthiest it's been. Like, look at how these curls are just like thriving, and it's just a blowout. Literally, I cannot believe how healthy my hair is. First, I'm gonna go with the color Drip. It is a really nice soft brown shade and I'm gonna start packing this right in the outer corner of the eye. I have been doing my eyeshadow a lot different lately, especially not setting it with any powder like the concealer. It goes on a lot more pigmented. It might be a little tedious to blend out. The color payoff is insane. I'm going in with a second layer of color. Now we're gonna add some honey, some yellow to the crease as well, taking a Morphe M514, taking the color Swarm. It is a pretty honey color. I'm gonna use this above drip to add a little bit of warmness, a little bit hint of color, and also to buff out the first crease color so everything is nice and seamless. So it's gonna be a really simple look. I might add a little bit more of drip. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go with the drip again and just intensify the outer corner. Taking the Sigma F70 concealer brush, I'm gonna take the color Queen. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It is like a bronzy color with a hint of green. And I feel like it's more of a cool tone color. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with my Fix Plus. And we're gonna be applying this shade on the eyelid. Look how pretty that looks. We're just gonna follow our natural crease. I don't wanna bring it too far up. Now for the fun part, you can leave it like this, but I wanted to use this new product that I got in PR from Lorac right here. These are like the new cream eyeshadows. Look how beautiful this is. So with that same concealer brush, I'm gonna apply it in the center just to intensify the look. Almost like a lighter shade of queen, but with a little bit of silver, but it has a little bit of a green tint, so I figured it would look so pretty. You guys see how I just added something like right in the center of the eye? It's like a little spotlight effect. Now with a clean brush, taking the Sigma E30 pencil brush, I'm gonna take the color Honey, the star of the show. And what I am going to do, I'm gonna be applying this color all over the inner corner. And then I'm going to slowly buff it into the eye. Before we apply our lashes and mascara, I'm gonna be taking the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. This one is in the shade Black Cool. This is what it looks like. These are so pigmented and so buttery, I have not stopped using it. I'm gonna focus this right in the outer corner of the lash line, smoke it out a little bit, give it more depth to my lashes. And I'm only applying it halfway through, not all the way to the inner corner. I'm gonna be taking Dose of Colors pencil brush and I'm going to buff that out. Give me a little bit of a smoky situation. Smoky liner. It's just all in the details. You guys see how I just added a little bit of darkness? Now you can take your favorite mascara. I'm taking this one from Lancome. I'm gonna apply a nice thick layer so that my lashes are very dark and ready for fake lashes. This is actually one of my favorite mascaras ever. Look how pretty and perky my lashes look if you're that person that does not like fake lashes. This is a great mascara and I've been using this for months. If you guys have watched my videos, you know, this is my jam. Now for lashes, I'm taking this one's from House of Lashes. It's honestly been a minute since I've used them. Like I used to use this all the time back in the day and I'm excited to bring them back because why not? And they're also a more affordable option. I think these are like about $12. So for those of you that are more on a budget, these are amazing lashes. Also, I kind of wanted the eyeshadow to look through. So I feel like my makeup notes will be a little bit too extra. So you can see all the dimension that we have going on on the eyes. Okay, so while those dry up, let's go ahead and move on to the face. First, I'm gonna be taking the Farsali Haldi Eyes Brightening Eye Cream. I've seen a lot of people use this and I actually have used it, but not enough. So 
I'm just going to tap it underneath. This would be a great eye cream if you're that person that forgets to do like their eye cream in the morning. You could include it onto your skincare. I'm gonna go with this product that I've been liking from Wonder Beauty. It is their Hidden Glow Brightening Cream. I'm all about that glow, all that glow. We are not done with the face products. Going in now with the Farsali rose gold elixir we're going glam today y'all i hope you is ready so while the skin soaks everything in we're gonna go ahead and move on to the lashes these are a lot more comfortable than the mink ones just because they're not as heavy feel really nice and light on the skin okay now we're gonna move on to foundation i'm taking this new stick foundation from a milk makeup i used it in my latest iutv video but i'm grabbing a darker shade this is the shade almond i believe because of my tan skin Hopefully, it pulls through. I'm gonna be using this Soeva face brush just to like disperse the foundation. Now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. beauty sponge and I'm going to pounce that in. For concealer, I'm taking Huda Beauty in the shade Granola. It's the one that I use to carve like under my eyebrows. Oh my God, I've always wanted to try these and I'm so excited they send them my way. I also like the cold applicator. Now I'm taking my sponge and blending, blending, blending. If you guys don't know this yet, this is actually the best sponge that I've tried from the drugstore ever. Okay, the face is looking pretty, pretty good. Now it's time to bake the face. Going in with the Anastasia Vanilla powder. It might, honestly, it might be a little too light, but it's brightening, so I'm all about it. I'm gonna take a little bit on this Huda Beauty brush. It is a face bake and blend. And I'm gonna use that to set my forehead area. I don't like going in with a sponge because then it's like too much. So I'll go ahead and set around like my eyebrows and pretty much like all over my face. So while my face bakes, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to lips. Something that I've also been changing in my routine. I'm gonna go more for like a darker lip. Oh, so excited for dark lips now for the fall. Taking this lip liner from Urban Decay called Conspiracy. Look at how beautiful that looks. We're gonna go ahead and give ourselves some juicy fall matte lips. I might be crazy, but I feel like the texture of the powder still on my lips helps me like glide on my liner better and shape my lips better because I have some grip. So that's why I've been doing it like this recently. We're gonna let the inner part of our eye bake still. I want the area to be nice and bright. To bronze and contour, taking the Hula Bronzer per usual. Per usual. You guys know I live for these. Gonna make myself real tan, guys. Gotta match my body. Taking a little bit also and running that under my jaw. And also a little bit down the sides of my nose. Even though she peeling, I'ma still make her cute. Now to add a little bit more glow to the cheeks, I'm taking my palette. Ooh, I'm taking Americano bronzer right here. And with a fluffy brush, no specific, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that and run it over my bronzer just to give it a little bit of a glow. Yes, yes, yes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face with my MAC Fix Plus. Okay, now let's go ahead and finish the rest of the eyes very quickly. I'm gonna go in with Drip to apply that all over my lower lash line. I'm gonna take in this 24-7 Glide On Liner from Orange Decay. It is in the color Gold Mine. And I'm gonna use this to apply it in my waterline. And then I'm gonna set it with the shade Honey on top. Taking the Honey brush that came in the palette, I'm gonna be setting that waterline. So the liner acts like a grip for the eyeshadow on top. Now I'm gonna take some mascara again and apply this to my lower lashes. She crew. Okay, now for blush, guys. Look at this a beautiful blush palette from Laura Mercier. It is La Palette Naturelle. Look at how beautiful this is. I'm gonna be mixing these two shades together, which is Rose and Rose Radiance to give my cheeks a nice, pretty, flush look. Okay, now that we apply our setting spray, we're gonna go ahead and take a highlighter today from Milk Makeup. It is called the Flex Highlighter in the shade Blitz. Look at how beautiful this is, guys. OMG. Taking my Sigma F42 Serving Fan. She is here to stay. Glow everywhere. Taking a pencil brush. Can't forget the inner corner. It's like a little bit vacant there. Yeah, this is like extra glam right now. This is like valet has come back. One more time, gonna set my face. Now for lip color, I received these new ones from Honest Beauty. This is in the shade BFF. I love Jessica Alba and I've always wanted to try her line. So really excited about these matte lipsticks. 
Well, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Well, guys, this look is finally complete. I hope that you guys loved it. Let me know your thoughts down below. This is like a vintage glam situation. I absolutely love it. And I loved literally every single product that I used. For all products just I mentioned, don't forget to check down below as always. I have everything linked with their codes and everything you need to know. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Violet Beauty and subscribe down below for more YouTube videos to come. Fall is here. Fall is here to stay. I love because fall is like a longer season than like summer. So a lot of stuff that you can create. So let me know any suggestions down below for the upcoming months before the holidays. Oh my God, I'm so excited. That's it for today, guys. I love you so much. Muchos besitos y abrazos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.